Hey, how are you? I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about Sunday night football. The Tennessee Titans head to L.A. to take on Matthew Stafford in the Los Angeles Rams. Grab a pen, grab a paper, I'll meet you on the other side. Hey-o, and we are back. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you've grabbed a pen, a pencil, whatever, and a piece of paper, sticky notes, index cards, your hand, your face. I don't know what you're into, but glad you're here. And let's talk about this Sunday night football game. As I said briefly, the Tennessee Titans head to LA to take on the Rams, Stafford, McVay, the whole kit and caboodle, as they say. Before we get into the game from a you know player-specific DFS point of view, uh, just make sure you go to Team Rise or Fall. Like, like, share, subscribe. Uh, it is week nine. You know, Sunday night is, you know, aside from Monday night, it's the tail end of week nine here. I can't believe it's gone by that far. So at this point, at this moment in time, hopefully you're here. You're in the free Discord. You've signed up for our premium services. And again, it's up to you. Look at the graphics. We have the $9.99 a week one. We have $29.99 a month. And you get so much, you know, I don't want to say freebies per se, but you get so much good stuff. I believe you get a $20 credit to Fantasy Cruncher for a month or two months, something along those lines. Or just come hang in the Discord. As I said, it's free. Everybody's there. Everybody's talking. And there it is. There's the testimonial. A lot of folks, they're winning big time money here. Shout out to Dab and Puggle. 250K in winnings last uh, month, actually. And we're on to, uh, can you believe it? It's November. Thanksgiving is at the end of this month. So make sure you go to Team Rise or Fall. Like, share, and do all that stuff. Tag me and, and just say hi. Chris, I'm here. Detroit Beastie, whatever you want to do. I am here. So glad. Let's talk about the game. In this one, Tennessee's at the Rams here. Uh, when you look at the over-under in this one, I believe it opened at about 49, something along those lines, which I firmly believe uh, as it stands now off the top of my head. Obviously, you know, I have all my notes, but I that's the one thing. Can you believe it? That's the one thing I don't have written down when I'm giving you this video. I believe last I checked, it was at 53 and a half points in this one. And this it's going to be fireworks. It's going to be lights out. Look at these two teams, the Tennessee Titans, they're on the, this path, you know, they're ascending and then Derrick Henry, you know, hurts his foot, breaks a bone in his ankle. But again, that opens up some more, you know, playing time and, and some other spots for some other players, Adrian Peterson, you know, McNichol. So it's going to be great. And then you get Stafford in the Rams. They're just hitting on all cylinders, Cooper Cup, Robert Woods couple betting trends briefly and I have my notes here obviously I've mentioned but I will send out a photo of it you know right at the bottom of this video here and two things I want to mention really quick the over is seven and three in the Rams last 10 games Rams seven and three last 10 in terms of the over uh, the over for the uh, Tennessee Titans they're nine and one let me take that back. The Tennessee Titans, the over is 6-1 and one, their last seven games here. So if you look at this thing, the over is just, it's like a laser light show, just blinking. Play the over in here. Regardless, I'll give you a move that I'm willing to make here at the end of the video with my final score projection. We've been talking for about three minutes, and I haven't even mentioned a player or his pricing. Just let me know and say, Chris, shut the hell up. And let's talk about the players. Matthew Stafford, Rams playing the Tennessee Titans. Titans, 24th overall against opposing quarterbacks. Stafford, 17000 bucks on FanDuel, rightfully so. On DraftKings, Stafford, 12800 bucks. And my, be mindful that this is all, you know, flex pricing. I say it every time. FanDuel, it's all the same. On DraftKings, I believe Matthew Stafford's uh, captain spot pricing is like nineteen grand. It's like, blows your mind. But he might be worth it. I have Stafford for easily. This is his floor. Every kind of little projection I give you for the players, you can find those in red at the end of my notes. That's kind of what, you know, total total game package here. But in a way, especially for Stafford here, it's like his floor. I have Stafford 290 passing yards, three touchdowns here. What more can you say? This guy is going to go nuts against a Tennessee, a very porous Tennessee Titans passing defense. Ryan Tannehill at the Rams. The Rams... Their defense is awesome, and they just got Von Miller. How wild is that? So right now, at this moment in time, the Rams, they're ninth overall against opposing quarterbacks. Ryan Tannehill... 
fourteen grand on FanDuel, nine thousand eight hundred dollars on DraftKings. I have Tanny around two hundred and eighty yards. One, maybe two touchdowns. And I will say, although the, the Los Angeles Rams, their defense is great. They just got Von Miller. Well, guess what? Tennessee, they get Julio Jones back. It looks as though A.J. Brown, he's back, baby. He's just tearing it up. So this game's going to be you know a lot closer than we think. So of the two quarterbacks, obviously, if I'm playing one lineup, it's going to be Matthew Stafford. But uh, I'll love to Ryan Tannehill as well. As I said, Stafford, uh, seventeen grand on FanDuel, twelve thousand eight hundred bucks on DraftKings, and then Ryan Tannehill, fourteen grand on FanDuel, nine thousand eight hundred dollars on DraftKings. Let's talk about the running backs. A lot of moves to be made here with the running back, uh, Daryl Henderson Jr., the ten, or excuse me, the Los Angeles Rams stud running back. He is. 13000 bucks on FanDuel, $9,200 on DraftKings. Tennessee, uh, okay, they're 11th overall against opposing running backs. And as it stands now, I believe I have Daryl Henderson Jr. 16 carries, 75 yards, and a touchdown on the ground in addition to three, maybe four receptions and another 25 yards. Looks to average, let me, I have it written in pencil, looking to average damn near five points, or excuse me, five yards a carry in this one, four points. Six. Sony Michelle briefly uh FanDuel, six thousand five hundred bucks on DraftKings. He's two thousand eight hundred dollars. Sony Michelle, nothing crazy. Six, seven carries, twenty-eight, maybe thirty yards in this one, and like one reception for five yards. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing wild. About four and a half to four point three yards a carry in this one. Now it's when it gets juicy. So if you want to pause the video and really for real, grab a pen and a piece of paper now or something to drink. Now is the time to do it because I have a little few things I want to mention about Jeremy McNichols and Adrian Peterson here. So let me know when you're back and we can start. Okay, you paused and here we are now. Jeremy McNichols, Tennessee Titans go to the Rams. As I've said a thousand times, the Rams, 19th overall against opposing running backs. Jeremy, 10 grand on FanDuel, $7,800 on DraftKings here. And then we have Adrian Peterson, AP all day. Have you seen him? This guy still looks good. He kept himself in playing shape. Uh, I, I did a post, I don't know if it was received well, where uh, he had the, the tear hail on that Derrick Henry had. Derrick Henry donated it to him. Uh, hopefully gives him good juju. All a joke. Don't, uh, you know, hang me from the rafters here. All a joke. All love. Jeremy McNichols, as I said, uh, 10 grand on FanDuel, $7,800 on DraftKings. I have McNichols for the healthier workload. In terms of carries, I have Adrian Peterson at about three, maybe four more carries than Adrian Peterson, but I think Jeremy McNichols kind of kind of asserts himself as the better back. I mean, we we look at both both of these running backs. How can you dispute what Adrian Peterson is? Sure, ballot first ballot Hall of Famer here. I'm not discounting that, but at this stage of the game, they want that that bruising kind of running back that they get from Derrick Henry. You can't just go to the store and find a running back like Derrick Henry, 6'3", 270 or eighty yards. I mean, this guy is a bulldozer and while I do love Adrian Peterson watched him since I was a small child he is not a like a he's not the same as Derrick Henry I know that sounds crazy that I have to say that but people are kind of getting at that so again I have Jeremy McNichols nine maybe 10 carries in this one 40 yards and a touchdown on the ground I also have a McNichols three maybe four receptions for another 25 or 30 yards. I know the receptions for McNichols, that's very ambitious given the fact we have A.J. Brown and Julio. Everybody is healthy and ready to go for the Titans. Adrian Peterson, as I've said, 8500 bucks on FanDuel and even three grand on DraftKings. So to me, he's more of a smash spot on DraftKings given he's only three grand. That's crazy to me. But I have Adrian Peterson, as I've said, 10, maybe 11 carries, 50 uh, 50, 55 yards in this one, and then a reception for seven yards. You can already see it now. Jeremy McNichols will probably carry the load here, and then they're going to give it to Adrian Peterson in short yardage or, you know, in the goal line, in the in the red zone, you know, inside the five or inside the 10, something along those lines. So to me, uh, we can play them both. They both warrant our, our respect here, and they both have value, you know, in their in odd ways. But again, Call me crazy. I would prefer Jeremy McNichols in this one. Talking about the wide receivers, 
Move quick through this one. Cooper Cup, sixteen grand on FanDuel, twelve thousand four hundred dollars on DraftKings. I mean, what are you doing? If you don't have Cooper Cup in your line, what the heck are you doing? Mind you, Tennessee, they are dead last. Tennessee is thirty second overall against opposing wide receivers here. So big day for for uh, Cooper Cup coming ahead. I have him for eleven, maybe twelve targets, eight nine receptions, well over a hundred yards. I'm thinking around one hundred and twelve, and of course he will, you know catch a touchdown pass all is good again ownership percentage that's the only thing you need to worry about when it comes to cooper cup on sunday night football how many folks are going to have him in their mvp spot or captain spot i could see a lot of people being overzealous and putting adrian peterson in there but i would imagine cooper cup probably going to be 34 35 percent owned uh in the captain in the mvp spot rightfully so averages about 14.7 yards or receiving Robert Woods, eleven thousand five hundred bucks on Fanduel, eight thousand six hundred dollars on DraftKings. Robert Woods is questionable at this moment in time. We shall see. Uh, always double check right before lock if you have a guy with a big Q tag next to his name. Robert Woods, seven targets, five receptions, and about sixty to seventy yards in this one. So I do have Robert Woods playing. Let's talk about Van Jefferson Jr. I, he's the one, he's the wild card for me uh, tonight, Sunday Night Football. Van Jefferson Jr., only 8000 bucks on FanDuel, $6,800 on DraftKings. And Van Jefferson Jr. averaging 16.3 yards a reception in this one. Van Jefferson, about six, maybe seven targets, four receptions, 60, 70 yards. So almost identical to Robert Woods, but Van Jefferson Jr., finds the end zone if by you know god forbid robert woods isn't playing i'm going to have a ton of van jefferson jr not only in flex spots but also in my captain mvp spots here let's transition to the tennessee titans wide receivers aj brown he's back as i said earlier kind of reminded me of seinfeld when george would go i'm back baby aj brown at the rams The Rams are 15th overall against opposing wide receivers. AJ, 12 grand on FanDuel, $10,200 on DraftKings. AJ Brown, just a very healthy, healthy workload tonight. 10 targets, six, seven receptions. Again, over 100 yards and a touchdown. I think, I see AJ Brown and Cooper Cup having almost identical stat lines, identical box scores at the end of this game. So obviously, if you can weasel in Cooper Cup and AJB in the same lines, and again, captain spot, flex, and vice versa with these two. One of a million ways to kind of build uh, for Sunday night football. Julio Jones, he looks, he's off the injury report. Julio Jones carries no injury designation for Sunday night football. Julio, $10,500 on FanDuel, $7,400 on DraftKings. And again, Julio averages 17.7 yards a reception. Is that a little skewed because he hasn't please played, I believe, well, how many games has he played? Four, three or four, you know, games in the course of the season so far. And we know, average, you know, in terms of, of catching, for receivers, uh, we, we can slide that under the rug. It's not that meaningful in comparison to running backs, how much they average a pop here. But Julio, seven targets, four, maybe five receptions, 55, 60 yards. Look, I'm not telling you to fade Julio Jones because it's Julio Jones. He's a damn good wide receiver and he's playing alongside Adrian Peterson. Man, if this team was in, you know, 2010, 2009, it would be unbelievable. But these guys, especially Julio, a stud. I love everything about Julio, but we're looking at a guy, you know, in the twilight of his career. I'm not telling you to fade Julio. I'm just saying, be careful with with your roster ship with Julio Jones here. Let's talk briefly about Nick Westbrook. Ikeen, seven grand on FanDuel, $2,200 on DraftKings, three targets, two receptions, 20 yards. Meh, we'll move on. Tight ends, Tyler Higby, Tennessee, their ninth overall against opposing tight ends. Higby, $7,500 on FanDuel, $5,600 on DraftKings. DraftKings Higby, five targets, three receptions, 35, maybe 40 yards. Nothing really to see here, but I only say that as reverse psychology, like a a reverse jinx. I do, when I say this kind of stuff, the first drive of the game, Tyler Higby might catch a touchdown pass, and then I look foolish. So I'm leaving the door open. If you want to roster Tyler Higby, that's all on you. Just know, Tyler, 9.2 yards of reception here. Not seeing a ton of work, but that's okay. Cup and, and Woods, they're just doing a ton of work here. Tight end, other tight end, excuse me, Anthony Fersker. Rams, they're 18th overall against opposing tight ends. Anthony, six grand on FanDuel, 
$1,400 on DraftKings. Just no worries here. One target, one reception, 10 yards, and we go from there. The play at tight end to me of the three guys that I'm mentioning here, it's Michael Pruitt. Look at the graphic. I went out of my way to make this graphic because I feel strongly that this guy, this kid, uh, Tennessee loves him. Ryan Tannehill loves him. They're looking for any and all ways to get this guy involved. I mean, heck, Derrick Henry threw a touchdown pass to him a few weeks ago. Why can't we keep that moving? Who's to say Adrian Peterson doesn't take a direct snap and throw it to my call? That would be silly. Act like I didn't say that. Pruitt, 6500 bucks on FanDuel, $1,200 on DraftKings. Kickers, Matt Gay, Randy Bullock, what, what do you want here? I mean, uh, Matt Gay, 9500 bucks on FanDuel, $4,200 on DraftKings. I have Matt, two for two field goals, three for three extra points, uh, just kicking 100% in this one. And Bullock, nine grand on FanDuel, $3,800 on DraftKings, uh, two for two field goals, two for two extra points here. So of the two, I would prefer Matt Gay, but given the other offensive skill positions, I'm fading all the kickers. Now, when we talk about defenses, that's another, you know, that's another issue issue here because the Rams look juicy tonight and we'll get there Rams hosting the Tennessee Titans uh th th these are DraftKings plays only because they're not available on FanDuel the Rams 4,800 bucks on DraftKings I have the Rams for four maybe five sacks in this one I mean that that's sweet right that's happy hunting kind of thing here four or five sacks an interception, maybe a fumble recovery. Do they find the end zone? I mean, defensive or special teams kind of touchdown here. I'll leave that to you and your imagination. I have the Rams only giving up about 20, maybe 21 points in this one. And then the Tennessee Titans, nothing to see here. The Rams, they're second overall in terms of giving up points to the opposing uh, defense here. 2,600 bucks on DraftKings. One, maybe two sacks, an interception or so, and that's about it. And they're going to give up a boatload of points here, well over 30 points. So I want nothing to do with the Tennessee Titans DST. So briefly, let's go over it. I made these graphics. I'm talking to you for 15 minutes. Let's utilize this stuff so you can see how beautiful, beautiful all this stuff is. So the, my lineup, as I have it now, again, GPP, or even if you want to play a cash game in a single game slate, this is the way I'm going. Watch the screen right here. Matthew Stafford, 17 grand on FanDuel, $12,800 on DraftKings. Daryl Henderson Jr., 13 grand on FanDuel, $9,200 on DraftKings. Jeremy McNichols, 10 grand on FanDuel, $7,800 on DraftKings. This is the part that I love here. This is how my lineup is just, I'm full blown in love with it. AJ Brown, 12 grand on FanDuel, $10,200 on DraftKings. And then to tie this thing up in a pretty little bow, Van Jefferson Jr., eight grand on FanDuel, $6,800 on DraftKings. And there it is. You can see it all in its beauty. That's the line I'm running in a multi entry and a single entry GPP on FanDuel. Tonight, Sunday night football. So before I split, I just want to say thank you. I can't believe uh, week nine is almost over. Monday night is the next day. And I, I, I want to thank everybody for all the love, all the support. Everything is fine. I feel great. Nothing's, I mean, I say I appreciate your love and all the support because of all the, the DFS content I'm doing. You know, it's just, it's, it's just a joy when I feel so passionate about something as this, recording videos and writing content, bottom of the barrel. And it's so well received every week, every day. And that's all because of you. I can only do so much, but together, all of us can just kill it and smash it. And I thank you so much. And I'll look for you or you can look for me, whatever you want to do Monday night football until then I'll see you later.